Hello folks and welcome back to No Man's Land and for some reason we're having issues with the camera there but so yeah we are leaving the shop we've got a bunch of slime accidentally ordered a bit too much so I thought the bag bags were a thousand liters not two thousand liters and what's with the camera this camera's going all glitchy on me there only if you had disabled camera collision. Man, that was a very useful mod in FS19. I think, what, well, almost two years? Well, it was two years now in FS22 and we haven't had a disabled camera collision? Jeez. Yeah, so. It is harvest time for sorghum. So, we got rock picking to do, we got lime to do on this field, so have a look. If you look at fertilizing state, that should have a application of fertilizer from the grass. Okay, no it doesn't. Fair enough. So it needs rock picking, needs lime. It hasn't been mulched, but I think if what we'll do is if we rock pick first, lime it, then fertilize it and then seeds and roll and then we'll put another application of fertilizer so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the worker just to start randomly somewhere and I've got the weight on so we can do a bit of fast farming so get it done just a bit quicker to get it out of the way with worker's doing well we got the fence here ready Is it worth now? Hopefully, if it goes there, that's fine because we we'll always do the right side afterwards. Actually, how is our sheep doing? The time is up there. Oh, look at that! Almost got a full pallet of wool. It's kind of the food situation. So it's consumed about 1500, about 2000 years overnight. So. Not too bad. We've got 105 grand at the moment, and yeah, so not sure on where to go with it. Yeah, no, I don't have access to the land. But we fight once we're into the field. So we don't get no shrug from this. Yep. Yeah. That is fine by us. Hopefully we have less issues with the trailer. If we start having issues with the trailer, I may just switch it out for a different one. Because... Well, should I may keep it and just get another cheap trailer. Let's get over her to do that for now. Because if you look at the traders... How much did that one cost us, was it? Yeah, 34 grand, so we always get another cheap one. Yeah, the TARDIS is tempting. Yeah, nine grand for that. Ooh, what's that? Oh, no, it's a swivel axle trader, not touching those. Swivel axles are my nemesis. Or could you just swap it out and upgrade it out for the cargo? Because it ain't going to make much of a difference. Rarity, eh? But yeah, with this field, what we're going to do next, after we've got this sorted, is quickly in this month, in September, get grass planted in because if we get grass planted now that would be ready to mow in November and then we can potentially leave it and do another crop in the next year something like corn or oats or sunflower because we're doing potatoes or sugar beet in that field over there and that's going to be our plan at the moment and with Oh, 
soybeans that's right should be ready tomorrow I hope have a look if that's ready to harvest tomorrow yeah so that's gonna be ready to harvest tomorrow so we harvest that in October and then we can do a wheat field so we still have that grain in we still get straw because we do need at least one field to be some form of straw providing just so that makes our life a lot easier so the workers go in that way you know what, heck yeah, I'm just going to go and lime. Ain't going to be too much of an issue. Helps if we get to the edges and that, but... Yeah, for some reason it's just having... Perhaps because it's the bass catching... I'm not sure. I think, yeah, it's got to be the bags, I'm sure. But it's still got like workers making small work of that. That's when we've got three tractors going. Oh, well. I think I cut this off the big bags, so. We'll do this manually ourselves, that's not an issue. Workers rock picking, that's going to take its time doing that. We'll send it over to this site once it's done. And we'll just go to the combine when it is full. done with this ready to get started on one first of all fertilizing this field we'll fertilize this field mulch it and then we'll seed it so it's gonna go on its way so if we have a look in our storage we've got 31,000 liters of sorghum from that field and we'll get about 1600 off of that in February so maybe 1700 perhaps at peak price so looking forward to that oats oh we can get two grand for that so what did we plant canola in the other fields so i have a little look yep so that's going to be a good thing because i'm about getting a production chain getting the farm support is it farm supply production chain by Umtana? I know um, Umtana has so many 
yeah, farm supplies production. Oh no, no, it's this one, farm production mod. Easy confused, but yeah, 20 grand. Not that one. And that literally does everything. Something you can put somewhere there. Try to go as much as we can. There we go, that's going to be really nice. So, if we go into here. So we can do all kinds of flour. Oh, we can make bread and have a bit of pig food. Or we can make cakes if we have sugar. Or do we need sugar beets for that? Sunflower oil, canola oil, olive oil, cereal, butter, literally everything. So I'm going to turn that on. I think the what is it? Oats we had or yeah, the oats. I think we'll do we save that or sell it? Let's do some quick math there. So we can get about let's say two grand. So that's a hundred grand there. Or if we turn that into flour, that is fifteen to nineteen. So that's an extra twenty five percent. So go to flour. Wait a minute. It's not really worth it. Even with 25% increase, we might as well sell the oats as they are. Well, that's sorghum. That's just a 10% increase. Hmm. Not sure on that. Oh, and it's almost done. <laughs> Oops. There's a the field. So I get the workers to do Oops, this field. Let's go back a bit over. There we go. Anything in the used market? Like a fancy us. Ooh, look at that, our old mower. Ooh. John Deere 810410. We can get any engine, so two a 260 horsepower tractor for 32 grand. That would be very useful at the start of the series. And that is that done. Let's move you over. Nope, that ain't working. So we'll put that over here because I want to get some wool in so we can start making some fabric and making some clothes. But yeah, with the whole rock picking, we did add kind of like a couple of trees out because when we ploughed the fields, I accidentally went a bit close to the trees. So we'll get it moved at some point. We're in no rush for those at the moment. Got some pads over here. I did try stacking some earlier, but yeah, I didn't really go to plan such on that. Also, we've got. Whilst we're doing this, let's get the worker cracking on with this. There we go, just crack on with that. So that then we can go over here and get some wool over. But it's only like a thousand litre pallet for now. Or as you may have a second batch of wool done, I think, hopefully. If we do that, it would be nice. Oh, no, not quite. 
And well, that's fine. Yeah, I can't lift that unfortunately. It's funny how it weighs so much heavier than. So yeah, look at that. That is 580 kilograms for a thousand years. For that, 514. Man, that must be some heavy pallet of wood there. The actual pallet itself. Jeez Louise. Oops. Yeah, well. Knock you back over. But yeah, once those sheep grow up, because if we have a look, half and half zone, next year they'll be ready to start producing wool, so yeah, I know, perhaps we could have saved some time in that, off just getting big ones, but you know what? Why don't we get some cheap ones now so it saves some money in the long run, because at the moment, Money can go elsewhere. Uh, we're making wool. So that will process that pallet by the end of the day. And I think what we'll do is. Just dump the weight. Put you there. Because we need to herbicide the canola field. Pick you up so you're full. But yeah, for some reason the sorghum and the was it? Yeah, sorghum and soybeans that didn't need herbicide in. No indication whatsoever it needed herbicide. I was like, okay, why? Even though that we've got weeds enabled, we've got weeds growing on the no field now, so man, that, that is quite strange. Yeah, not I'm not too sure now. That is quite odd. But yeah, in terms of the whole, oh no, we need to put root crop tires on these. But yeah, in terms of the whole, what we're going to actually. Uh, I may figure out why we got extra money for available for the normal crop. So if we go to, bear me a sec, go to our mods. Don't say I've accidentally enabled one of the price adjustment mods. Let's have a look. This for pallets. No, because you can have like high crop prices and like high profits, but no. Yeah, nothing's popping up, so. Because I did make sure I didn't enable anything like that, so. <coughs> Yeah, it's full. Never harming. Double checking. Yep, can't find anything. And actually, since we've got this up, how much is it cost for seed and fertilizer production? So we want to make our own seeds and fertilizer nat, and if we can save money by doing it with crops, then that's will be a win-win for us. So. M N P Free Grand That does need liquid fertilizer though. And how big is it? Not too big, but not really the space we got available for it. Hopefully that is going to trigger. We'll pick up the John Deere.
Hello, our cherry board and arrows are on. Do need to sort it out properly. There's a little bit of a cluster of mess there. So yeah, I've got the combine there ready for tomorrow. Mulching is almost done. And housework are doing on the seeding. Too bad, it's getting there slowly, so it's going to take some time. Yeah, again, we can fast farm from the seed in, but. There he is over there. Oh, is that a bit off? Missed that strip over there, no worries, we could get that sorted. So I think what we'll do is we'll do the head. I mean, we get the worker to do this field, but it does tend to miss some bits. Especially with when it goes to... Oh, nope. This section over here where it, where it ain't a clear 90 degree bend, it's quite curved and that. Very easy for us to work with, but not too much for the workers. I think, you know what, at the end of it, I may just do it myself, because... Yeah, last time we did miss some bits as well, so again, not sure why. Let's get the worker to do this bit for now. I'm going to leave the worker until it stops. There we go. So we don't accidentally destroy any of our crops. But yeah, we need. 140 grand for a new cedar because I do want to get another cedar because the amount of fields we got now, we need a bigger one or at least a second cedar. Nope, still nothing in the used market. Planters. Yeah, 142 grand we need for that. Mm. That's a bummer, that is. You know what I think the best we can do for now is just go get another one of these. Might as well. Then we'll take the case up there and start doing seeding with that. Just fill up the seed down here. Yeah, why not? Get the grass in here whilst the worker's doing that, and then once we're done seeding this section, we can go around and help out the worker. Get things done quicker. So yeah, that's what we're going to do, and I'll see you folks in a few moments. control but now I'm gone bye bye bring the fire you took something beautiful and made it something cool it's all that I get from you you're so delusional now watch me take control I've been running running from myself like I'm somebody else kind of left me alone all the love is gone and
So the last bit of the rolling done now and as you can see we bought the John Deere 8410 and it's definitely helped speed things up it's four tractors is enough for us we get three workers on doing certain things as well that extra cedar has definitely helped us a lot and how are the sheep doing all right still got all the bells almost another paddock and I'm thinking at some point we could do with adding more greenhouses, not the No Man's Land ones, obviously you're sticking to only two of those, but I do have a number of greenhouse mods installed, so maybe worth actually installing some of those, or actually putting in some of those, but maybe look at that in the next episode or so, whilst we just put this away. So in terms with weeds, the weeds are done on our mega field there, and as I said before, the worker did sort of always miss strip, but even when I was working it, it was having sections of where it was missing, even though I was going straight over it, so not sure on that. But regardless, so first state of fertilizer is on this field. When the grass starts to grow in the next episode, we'll get the fertilizer spreader out again, and quickly do a second application on there. So park you up there. And actually we'll hook you onto the trailer because I think I should put times back up there. Only turn the times down to uh what's it just have a look at a few things about some of the greenhouses of where they possibly go. May put the greenhouses next to the farm, uh, to the farm supply production, because it did say this area here, a couple of episodes back, like this here, where the soybeans are, that like here down was all going to be production chains at some point. So, I may start looking at that in the next episode, but but regardless, so we'll save that for then. But I do like the lights on this, it's like proper bright. Oof, you don't even that hurts my eyes. So we'll get you positioned there. Actually, how are the chickens doing? Oh, they need some food. So we'll go to the chickens. There we go, they're full. Got two pallets of eggs. And almost another full pallet. So eggs. Best on sell eggs is prices are going up. So for November, December time, things like well, you're not selling the wool, but for clothes and fabric. So yes, yeah, definitely worth doing the clothes. So April, May, get eighteen grand for that, and we're literally at the rock bottom price at the moment. Ooh, get some bees in, get some honey. Again, other options there. But yeah, the planks, 2300. And 
Yeah, price is starting to go down, but so sell everything container. We'll sell these two. So I did say around the 2250 mark we was gonna stop selling these, but depending on what we can do with the greenhouse here, so actually we may still need to sell these even when the prices aren't at their best, so Ooh, there's a wolf out somewhere. And also I did see Court Farms got released yesterday as of recording this episode so looking forward to that obviously it's going to be about four to six weeks at least before we see it on console because you remember what Sean Dave said in the number of posts he's made with court farms is only PC first of all then it's going to wait to see what bugs there is because there's going to be bound to some little bugs some minor bugs here and there because even with all the internal testing and having people doing early access. There's going to be some bugs somewhere, so by the time Oxy finds those, or people find those and gets reported back, depending on how long it takes to fix those certain bugs, I'll say with how Oxygen David works, about a week or two, get sent off to testing with Giants. That's going to be two weeks in itself, because it's ten working days at the moment the testing this is. So that's five weeks, so four or six weeks, maybe give an extra week for bugs to be found. Because Oxy wants it to be released on console to the point where if there are any future updates, it wouldn't need a new game to save. So, you know what? I can respect that. I prefer to wait for a map that has very little to no further updates needed. Or at least updates that need a new game save. Obviously, if it's updates like where he adds things where it would need a new game save, I would then make a choice of whether or not to update game save or not. Because I know, like, with uh, was it the comparing countryside, some people decide to update the game and start a new game save and like redo all the work, and others who play on console decide not to. So, bit of a mixed bag there on that. So, because we are on, I was recording this, the 13th of July, so mid-August, mid to end of August, we'll perhaps see it on console model, so that'll give us plenty of time to further progress with this. This series will still be going after Court Farms is out, I'll just just my upload so to the point perhaps where we do one day Court Farms, other day New Man's Land. At the moment, I am sort of playing it with between one day upload to two videos a day. I sort of may try to do a one upload early in the morning around 8am and then do a second upload around 2, 3, 4pm UK time. Obviously if the views don't work out to what I think they should be then I may go back to just doing one upload a day but we'll wait and see on that. But regardless, so we've got 15,000 litres of planks. And uh, best place to sell these is at the sell everything container. So we'll just avoid sell point there. There we go. Five grand, that is nice. I'll have fun of another two or so greenhouses. Actually, three actually, depending on which one's going for. Three, four. So, yeah, there's definitely options for us in terms of the greenhouses because if we go back to the farm, have a little quick look. Go to productions, greenhouses. Of course, got your base game ones. Perhaps I won't do the hydro ponix ones. But things like maple syrup, we can definitely do with going for those. So yeah, we could place that somewhere there. And then I'm thinking, like, some of these, like, multi-crop greenhouses. We can do literally everything, including cotton. Potatoes, sugar beet, 
all the base game stuff and extras. So does require seeds and for those who have to buy those potentially. Manure we also can buy at the shop and that so because we can do a left hand side one and a right hand side. I'm assuming that is based on where everything comes out of so again back to greenhouses. Sorry to take there, so yeah, left hand side is like that, so we can do Oh dang it, did not meant to do that. Whoops. It's gonna be roughly there, but not exactly there. Ah, it's an accident, and uh, we've lost five grand on that. Bugger. Well, perhaps we could put the maple syrup here first, and the greenhouse is so. Okay, so right hand side one could go there. Then we can flip it. Well, no, actually, no, we do have to flip it. Do next one. So I think we can easily get a cup of these down. So that's 20 grand, so. If we get four of these, so that's 40 grand. Go to about there. Maple syrup can go there, so that's 56 grand, so. Definitely enough money there for us. So, aside from our little mess up there, we are looking good, so. We're gonna leave it here today. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope everyone has a nice day. But for now, it's be far more in the stream, and I'll see you all very soon.